we are going to start with our first section that is html part i have created one folder search memes right click on this show more options open with code i am going to use visual studio code i will close this welcome page inside this we are going to create index.html we are going to create style.css and finally we are going to create script.js inside index.html we are going to write our boilerplate and here whatever title you want you can give i will write javascript fetch api meal meal search below this i will be writing one comment css file link colon css inside this i am having style.css below this i am going to link font awesome link because we have used one search icon so for that we are going to use this font awesome i am going to search for font awesome cdn enter i will click on this first link and from here i am going to take all dot min dot css i will copy this inside this i am just going to paste then below body we are going to link our js file i will write script script colon src inside this i will be giving my file name let me just write one h1 i will just write here meal save this right click on this open with live server simultaneously we are going to see both the things so i'm just going to adjust this one control b close left panel now here i have my visual studio code and this is my project let me come to my demo now as soon as i refresh this i have only one input field search button and random button so first we are going to create this structure i will remove this in place of this i am going to create one diff and for this diff i will give the class name as container if you want to give the same styling then you should be giving the same classes if you are changing the classes then accordingly you have to change all the stylings inside this i will write h1 and for this i am going to give the class name as heading spicy meal food save this i will come to my project now this is my heading in my demo project i have not given any heading but in this project we are going to display this heading below this i am going to create one diff and for this i will give meal container inside this diff section i am going to create one form and for this form i will just write here meal container meal container flex as of now i do not need this action attribute i am going to remove this so basically we are going to wrap our entire project inside one container inside that container i have given one heading and for that input field and search button we are creating another diff container i have created form and for this we are going to give id because this id we are going to use in javascript i will give here submit inside this form we are going to create input field 
type will be text for this i am going to give the id id will be search let me just remove this and inside this i am going to give id and also i am going to give placeholder placeholder let me just write here something search for meals example i will write pizza save this i have this input field and also placeholder is displayed now as soon as i click on this input field i am having this automatic data displayed i do not want that so i am going to write auto complete to be off by default it will be on so we are just going to off that now whenever i click on that i will not be having any data below so after this i am going to create one button and for this button i am going to give the class as search btn and also for this i will be giving type type is equal to submit and inside this button i want to display the search icon for that i we are going to use the same class i is equal to fas this is the font awesome class for search icon fa search close this as soon as i save i am having this button as well as my icon is loaded so whenever you are using font awesome these are the basic classes we will be using in every project so this basic class name you can remember to easily get the icon displayed in your project if you are not getting you can come to google you can search font awesome icons enter click on this first link whatever icon you want you can just search here let me write here search whichever icon you want click on that icon and you just have to copy this class so you can use this classes or you can use this classes whatever you use you will be getting the same result i will close this now below this form we are having one more button that is random button i will create button for this button i will give the class as random btn and also i am going to give the id because all these things we are going to use in javascript we are going to add click functionality so we are using id random and inside this i will just write here random save this now i am having my random button now this is not the end of html part we have just created this part whatever is visible in our demo project we have created that but when i click on this random button you can see i am having this random data for this also we need html structure but this html structure we are going to write when we write javascript code now in my demo project i am going to search for pizza now you can see i have one heading for search result this is the container where we are going to display all the images which are matching with our keyword and finally when we click on this we are having another div section so totally we are having this three parts one two and this three single meal so below this div section what i will be doing i will be creating one paragraph and for this i will give meal result heading if the result is getting matched i am just going to display this one whatever data i am having i will be displaying that and also i am going to give class class is equal to meal result heading same thing copy and paste and inside this let me just copy the same thing and here i will be pasting save i will come to my project now here i have this heading now here i have this search message below this paragraph we are going to create one div container 
I will come diff and for this diff I will give the class name as meals container. Inside this entire container we are going to display only this images part. Now if we are having multiple items when I click for chicken, let me just write here chicken. Enter. So many images are displayed. So all these images we are going to wrap inside this diff container. So inside this entire container for every single image we are going to create another container diff for this diff i will give the id as meals and class i am going to give all meals enter so this will be individual product individual image whatever i am having here and inside this container all things all the images will be displayed so this is our second container and finally third container is for single image i will create a diff and for this diff, I will give the ID as single meal container. Single meal container. Enter. And here let me just write here images. All images. And here I will write single meal images. Save this. Come to my project. So basically in this we are having different sections. First is for form which will be having our input field and the search button. Second is a random button. Whenever we click on that button, we get random data. Third, we are having this search result message. Fourth, we are going to display all the meals related to that keyword. And finally, whenever we click on the dish, that single dish has to be displayed. So this result heading, all images container and single meal images, all that thing we are going to write whenever we write JavaScript code. So this is our basic HTML structure. Next, we are going to start with CSS and CSS stylings. I will be telling you what you have to copy and when you have to copy those stylings. That's all for this session. Don't forget to share the video. If your friends are looking to make this kind of project, then you can share this video to them so that they can learn something and build some projects. Next, we are going to start with our CSS section. 